Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I'm going to show you how to make these little Oreo turkey treats. Oh yeah, perfect for Thanksgiving or Christmas. And they're really easy to make, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box you'll find a list of the ingredients. Now I have some white candy melts here, um, but you can just use normal chocolate too if you want. And I'm gonna melt this, and I'm gonna put some in this little piping bag um, that I have, this is by Wilton, or you could just use a normal uh, plastic bag if you want. And so I'm just gonna melt these in the microwave, 30 seconds stir, 30 seconds stir until they're nice and melted. And this is gonna be the glue that we're gonna use for these Oreo turkey treats. I like using these little bags because uh, they're meant for the candy melts to be right in the bag and you melt it and then you just kind of massage it. You put it in the microwave for 25-30 seconds and then you massage it and then you put it in for 20 seconds until it's all melted and it just works really quick and easy and you don't have to use a bowl. Alright, so this is going to be our glue. I'm going to do a little snip here. And now, we have the main body of the turkey and we're going to use these double stuff Oreos. And there's a couple different designs that you can do. You can do a design where the feathers are made out of sliced almonds. And if you use those sliced almonds, then you can just use the standard thickness Oreos because it's a lot thinner. Um, but if we're gonna use these candy corns, the candy corns are thicker, and so we'll use the double stuff for that. And what I'm gonna do is take my piping bag here, Again, you don't have to use a piping bag like this. You can just use a, a plastic bag. And I don't have a ton in this because it gives me a lot more control. And then I'm going to just lay on some of this. Okay. And then I will take this and just poke it right in there. Don't push too far because then it's going to um, move the cookies apart. Like if you push too far in there, it'll separate the cookies. And so you could do like four like this if you want, and there you go. That is kind of like the feather part. And now what we want to do is we want to do the body, the main like the stomach region, I guess, and take these little small peanut butter cups and just take off the wrapper. And then we'll just put some of this chocolate or kind of our makeshift glue right down there. And put that on right now. I happen to get, I happen to buy the dark chocolate kind, but you can have the milk chocolate kind as well. And now we want to do a face or a head. And a couple different things you can do. You could do like this milk dud for caramel, or you could do a more round look like this Whopper right here. So whatever one that you want to use, I'll just, I like to do just like a variety of these. Put some more of that chocolate down candy melt. I'm going to put the milk dud on. There we go. It is starting to come, starting to come together, huh? And now we want to do um, maybe some eyeballs on there. And we have these little candy eyeballs that you can get, which they're kind of big. If you can find smaller ones, that'll be, that'll work good. Um, but it's okay if these things look kind of like big, kind of bug-eyed. So put some of that on there. <laughs> and so this is gonna be like a little bug-eyed turkey. And then for the beak, I have these little butterscotch chocolate chips, or you could do like white chocolate chips. Put down some glue. 
there is the beak. Another thing you could use for the beak that I've seen done is you'll take a candy corn and just cut off the white part and use that as the beak. And now if we want to um, add a little red part to the side of his beak um, on the turkey, I think it's called the waddle. I can't remember. And so I'm going to use these little feet, sweetest fish or we could do like licorice. And I'm going to cut a bit of the tail off. A little bit more chocolate. <laughs> so there you go. This is a little little turkey treat. And now we want to make a little base for them. So I'll just take this Oreo and you can use whatever side that you want. Put some chocolate down. And then set him down in there. And there we go. Cool little turkey, Oreo turkey treat. Now there's some more variations that you can do. And then just set this aside so that candy melt or chocolate can dry. So this one, I'm going to do some of these slivered almonds. So that's kind of like what that would look like. And you can layer it more if you wanted to. If you were going to layer it, you would want to use the double stuff because it gives you a little bit more room. Okay, and this time I'll use one of the whoppers for the head. And then for the beak, I will use one of these pieces of candy corn. His beak. Like that. And you could give him just eyes of like chocolate, like that one, if you want. And then on the base, maybe I'll do some zigzags of chocolate. And then take some nuts and put the nuts on there. And so it's kind of like the dirt or something. And then that is a, another version that you can do. So there's a lot of varieties that you can do. I'm going to go ahead and do a few more of these. Um, but you get the idea. And when they are all done, they'll look something like this. I want to point out this is not my personal creation. This idea has been around quite a while. There are some things that I've done kind of on my own, like the beak. I made that with the butterscotch. I haven't really seen that done before. And using the milk dud as the head. Um, I haven't really seen that done. The Whopper is a little bit more common. So here's some different design ideas that you can do. Drop a comment down below and let me know which design you like better. Do you like the almonds for the feathers or do you like the candy corns for the feathers? Do you like the whopper for the head with just little dots for the eyes and then the nose or the beak um, a piece of candy corn or do you like the candy eyeballs with the butterscotch nose? Do you like the the nuts on the ground kind of like dirt or do you like it plain? Let me know in the comments what your favorite one is. All right, the Oreo turkey treats are done and turned out fantastic. Really easy to do, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah. They're almost too good to eat. I'm gonna get up this one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna bite off his head. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah. <laughs>